Long ago, nestled in the verdant foothills of the Himalayas, was a small, humble monastery. It was home to a wise old monk, revered throughout the region for his boundless wisdom and his heart full of compassion. One day, while making his rounds in the monastery garden, the monk noticed a scorpion that was stranded on a leaf, surrounded by a pool of water. Without a moment's hesitation, he reached out to save the creature, only to be stung by the scorpion's venomous tail. Recoiling in pain, the monk instinctively pulled back his hand, but after a moment of rest, he reached out again. The scorpion stung him once more, but this time, he did not recoil. An onlooker, a young apprentice, was watching this from a distance. He cried out, Master, why do you continue to try to save the scorpion when it has done nothing but harm you? The old monk, after successfully retrieving the scorpion and placing it safely on dry ground, replied calmly, The nature of the scorpion is to sting. It does not know any better, nor can it change what it is. But my nature, my dear apprentice, is to save and show compassion. Should I change my nature simply because the scorpion cannot change its own? The young apprentice was silenced by the wisdom of his master. His perception of the world and its many inhabitants shifted on that day. From then on, whenever the apprentice found himself in a situation where he was met with unkindness or malice, he remembered the wise words of his master. He understood that people, like the scorpion, often act according to their nature, and while he couldn't control their actions, he could control his own. He chose to react with kindness and understanding, remembering that his nature was to love, not to hate. He understood that wisdom does not merely mean acquiring knowledge, but also includes knowing how to respond to the world around us. It means learning to maintain our own character and dignity, not in response to the actions of others, but based on our own moral compass. We all come across scorpions in our lives and they sting. But what can we do? They're just doing their thing, being all scorpiony. And us? We've got a choice in how we respond. Yeah, we could get angry or upset. Or like the monk, we could take a breath and choose understanding, maybe even kindness. It's tough, and it doesn't mean being a doormat and letting people walk all over you. No, it's about standing up for yourself, but doing it in a way that respects your values and the kind of person you want to be, no matter what. So when you come across your next scorpion, how will you choose to react? Just something to think about. If this story made you pause, give it a like. And hey, hit subscribe if you want to hear more stories and chats like this one. Let's muddle through this crazy journey together, one step at a time. This is Take the Leap Motivation. Thank you for watching.